Welcome back guys to a new Boombish video and yesterday evening we made it into four end rooms and this is the base we have designed so we split them up 2-2 uh, two -two on each side put a load of mines and uh, splash damage and single shot defenses up in the front to make it hard for them to get off the landing area and then just a couple of uh, boom mines and regular mines up on this path right up there and up on there up on that area We've got some mines over here leading up to these two and a couple of uh, boom mines up there protecting them uh, a little bit more. So let's take a look at the log. It's been a little bit better definitely compared to the last couple of days there. Let's go ahead hop right into it. We do have loads of chests there to collect and we are at rank 11 and 24 stars. So let's go ahead hop into one more attack here and then we're going to be able to get our shock mines. So let's check it out. Okay, so he's got a load of mines there. Um, what I think I could do is I, I've been bringing in. Yeah, so let's use our heavies. And I want to use them to clear these mines. So I'm going to flare straight onto that guy there. And then behind them we'll throw down all the warriors. Now he does have shock mines there. But hopefully, come on heavies, go over them please. They're actually spreading out a little bit too much here. Oh, that's painful, that's painful to see them die like that. Let's go ahead over there, we'll use a few flares. Was that a good idea? Ugh, we might only be able to get, get uh, these two end, end rooms it seems. Let's go ahead, put down our level 1 mech kit and then we will flare all over there. And what we might do is, since we won't be able to get that engine room let's come over here and would we be able to no i think i think we, we've lost too many wires here yeah i'm not sure let's see maybe we can yeah we don't we don't have any more gb either to uh flare them up to that engine room, guys so we're just going to retreat right here save half of our our warriors there that's how it's been going the last few days but we could have uh if we had enough gb we could have definitely flared over to that engine with a few smokes as well as you can see he's also doing the flaring strategy having to flare all the way around the world over here trying uh, desperately to avoid these mines and boom mines there so that's good we're at least uh, slowing down the opponents now we just have to build fully clear on on our side so let's go back and let's check out which way we want, we want to go next. So over here you can see we still have not maxed out the warriors. Nor have we maxed out the grenadiers. Uh, here is the rest of our tech tree. We haven't even um, upgraded the riflemen at all. Let's go ahead over here. And I think yeah, we're going to go right towards that troop health. And then we'll see if we want to uh, get Sergeant Brick or not. Her battle orders or else Iron Will will definitely be useful against all these mines. I'm predicting. Let's go, go on over here first though, get our next unlock and let's max it out there. And do we want to, so we'll upgrade this one here, we'll upgrade this one a tiny bit there. And I think that's all of our upgrade tokens used up, yeah. So that's all of our upgrade tokens used up. Next up is going to be the troop health. So we do have to unlock uh, two, two chests for that, so hopefully we can. Let's put let's put a mine let's put a shock mine over there shock mine there and then a shock mine right on there they do sort of flare around the sides now so let's put some shock mines over here and one right over there and let's put in a couple of them over here and then right there okay so that's good let's go ahead over here what i want to do is i want to move towards uh this one over here so i want to get the crystal critters to be able to heal up my troops and also uh take out the mines boom mines and shock mines so they're sort of double use right there those crystal uh, critters let's hop right back into it we might use some zookas here depending on the base design but let's take a look rank 11 once again okay Okay, interesting. So he's got a lot of mines over there. That's the issue. I could flare my wires up there for e pretty easily and grab those two. Um, let's see. I might do a split. Let's do a let's let's split up our troops here. We'll drop four on this side. 
grab those two end rooms and I will drop the rest of them on the other side allow them to grab those end rooms so let's come over here let's flare right onto that guy and I'm not going to bother doing smokes here I think okay that's good they didn't die let's flare onto that guy there get that machine gun out of the way and then these, these cannons are definitely one-shotting us, so we do got to get a move on over here. We've got three cannons targeting us there, and perfect stuff there. Those guys are gone. Now, they might be able to get some GB for us, taking out some of those um, other defenses. But let's focus on these guys over here. They might hit all these shocks here. Yeah, that's going to be painful. Oh, that that's not good on me. So, shocks, come on guys, keep moving forward. I put a mech kit up there instead of a shock. That's not good. Okay, we might be able to get this end room, but these mortars, yeah, no, these mortars are going to hit us there. So that was my mistake there. I threw down a uh, mech kit up there instead of a flare. I threw down uh, smoke instead of a mech kit. So that's my fault there. Let's go back. We only got two there. Not great there. Let's take a look at how he's doing. And he's using tanks flaring around the mines. Yeah. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Let's go over here. Let's actually move some of these over here. They seem to be reflaring around this area there. Okay, there. So we'll just do a couple of them, a couple of more attacks here, so long as we have the troops for it. But I think we're almost there. Once we get this one, then I think we'll be a little bit better off. And then we have some more defenses, sniper towers. Flame chores. We have a uh, doom cannon here to get. That's going to be pretty nice. Cryoneers. We have private boats over there. The building health over there is tempting, and of course the tanks would be super useful right now. But I feel like if we can get the troop health, that would be just as good um, as the tanks, maybe. And we're back. So we have just done a few more attacks there, and now we have enough. Uh, engine rooms to collect our chest there let's go ahead and collect it and that will be enough to unlock our next node which is actually pretty important because it is of course a 50 percent troop health which we definitely definitely need we don't have enough to max it out there but that should be enough 40 percent extra troop health then i would say let's come down here i think getting these crystal critters or else the critters most likely the crystal critters uh, for clearing the mines plus distractions, I think gonna be better than getting sergeant brick. I'm not too sure, but let me know if you guys have gotten brick or not. I am a little bit behind uh, um, everyone else, so it doesn't really make sense for me to try and push forward without getting some of the decent um, node unlocks. So let's go ahead and let's hop into it. We should be able to survive. I'm hoping the Arzukas are able to survive at least one regular mine hit. So let's go ahead over here and what I have been doing is let's just use the grenadiers and we'll just put them all together, keep them all together. Let's hit that mortar straight away. Hopefully that first grenadier will die with that is a sacrificial, sacrificial grenadier right there. Okay, excellent stuff there. Lovely stuff there. That's perfect. These, these mortars went down super quickly there. So I'm pretty happy about that. And once this one goes down, we can relax a little bit and heal up any any grenadier on low health there. So those guys, they can go down there, that's fine. Uh, they can start working on that machine gun while the rest of these guys, the main group, is working on taking out these defenses and these two end rooms over here. So that's pretty important. So I think we've got a good good go there so we're at three minutes five seconds four seconds we've got a cannon hitting us that's unfortunate i was hoping that they do stand away from the cannon but uh, most of the time it seems that they stand just within range of the cannon uh, of the cannon damage there okay we're almost there let's heal up these guys over here they seem to be they've taken down they've taken out that single single machine gun there so that's pretty pretty good happy about that only two two grenadiers taking out a single Single machine gun. I thought they would have taken longer, but they do pretty much good damage then, I guess. Let's come around here. Everyone's coming back. We did hit a boom mine there. That's fine. 
this machine gun is about to go down so that's excellent okay and we'll put in a mech kit right over here that's perfect okay we lost another another grenadier here and if they can all hit at once here this cannon is going down super quick they are actually super close to it as well so that's probably another reason and this time i'm just going to put them in closer guys i think we have plenty of grenadiers here so that they can take out these two these two cannons super quickly here and there's that cannon gone and this one's about to be gone now this angle is pretty good because the stray bombs are going to hit that engine there which is pretty fantastic there let's go ahead put them even closer and try and flare onto that one that one super quickly there we're at one minute and 36 okay so this is a super long video it seems let's go ahead over here keep going he's coming all the way around is he going to hit any of our shock mines no he's not so i'm going to have to move some of those shock mines uh back a little bit more he did at least take one minute 24 so i think we grabbed the win there i think we were at one minute 30 something so that's pretty good and once they turn to this end room they will hit that shock mine there which is pretty good so that's excellent stuff at least now i think um we are on the good path to at least fully clearing these engines i'm not sure if our times are aren't our times aren't very competitive at all right now but for now four engines fully clear all we have to do is attack twice in order to collect our chest which is going to help quite a bit because if we use all grenadiers and they all die, then we only have two shots because the boats take hours and hours to fill there. Woman is 36, only nine stars there. That's perfectly fine. And we have, let's just do one more here. There isn't anything else we can collect. We're going to upgrade this one to the max level, of course. And then we'll just grab some more defenses here and try and make our way down to the crystal critters and down to some more defenses down there. And even more defenses down here to Doom Cannon, of course. So pretty good stuff. Let me, know, let, me know, let me know if you guys have already gotten Sergeant Brick. Or if you guys are going for Private Bullet there. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so this this type, of, this type of base I do like. What I need to do here is take out these front, front couple of mines here. So let's just use... I'm going to use two heavies here. What I should actually be able to do is just flare all the way to back actually if i can do that yeah if i can do that let, let me actually try this it's pretty sneaky here but if it works we will we'll be able to grab all these engines but if it doesn't then <laughs> we're gonna lose pretty badly guys so let me come around here and i need to keep them all together here that's a, that's the an issue here okay that's perfect let's come around here now and i just hope that we have enough gb here they're gonna hit one more one shock mine there okay that's fine i think there and there okay and, and let's flare flare them up again okay so long as we have most of those guys over there now they should be able to take out these ones pretty quickly there let's flare onto these guys as soon as possible there flare 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 we've got a lot of single shot and some sniper towers which can probably two shot us uh, right now and that's excellent guys so all these engines were all together and luckily enough our warriors got the job done so pretty happy about that there so once we have the crystal critters we can we can activate those mines clear them and that will make these warrior attacks a little bit easier there so he's using grenadiers lovely stuff there perfect now is he going to try and do any type of reflares he does have a few heavies there he has one boom mine, but then if he flares over here somewhere, he still has that boom mine to contend with. That's about two heavies there gone. I mean, not two heavy, sorry, two grenadiers and a couple of more. Oh, darn it. One more, one more mine would have been enough to take out that cluster of grenadiers there. So pretty happy about uh, this defense for sure. And that's going to be it, guys. So this is our last attack. So you can see over here, at least now I'm hoping... Uh, four engines if you can fully clear the bases only two attacks needed to collect our chest from now on there it is 10 stars finally we're uh, we're crawling up there at rank 11 and 44 there so let's collect this guy here we're finally down to one out of six one out of six chest let's see yeah we can we can actually unlock this let's, that's fantastic let's first let's not forget to upgrade this one to the max level that's going to be more important 
then upgrading these snap towers here and let's see we don't have yeah we've just used up all of our upgrade tokens that's fine guys i think we're doing we're making pretty decent progress uh, unfortunately we're still in rank 11 and we're already you know five days in let me know how your progress has been but that's it gonna be it from me today guys uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you guys tomorrow